Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game German Whist. Uh, German Whist is a very easy to learn card game. Um, it's actually not really that similar to regular Whist, um, which is board players. Uh, German Whist is two player Whist, um, but it's quite simple. And so what you'll need is a 52 card deck um, uh, with two players. Um, each player is dealt 13 cards, one card at a time, right? And so you can see each player had one card each there. Um, and so note that each player has 13 cards, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, right? Because this player just played his last card. Uh, the top card of the remaining deck is flipped up as such. Right, and so in this case it's flipped up, it's a five of spades. The first stage is to better the 13 card hand you were dealt. Uh, in the second stage, uh, there's two stages of German Whist. In the second stage, you want to win as many tricks as possible. A trick is created by each player playing a card into the middle. The winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking card. And so cards are ranked from highest to lowest. It's ace, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And so it's just your standard ranking for card games. Trump suited cards outrank all other cards. The trump suit for each round is the suit of the first card flipped up from the deck after the deal. And so the suit of the first card flipped up, well, the first card flipped up is the five of spades. Therefore, the trump suit is the spade. Now, the non-dealer plays a card to lead the first trick. Um, the opposing player is required to play a card in the same suit of the lead card whenever possible. So a club was played, and so I must play a club whenever possible. If the opposing player does not have a card in the lead suit, then any card can be played. Note, uh, just keep track of what just happened there. So the player with the highest ranking trump card wins. If no trump card was played, the winner is the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. The winner of the trick takes the flipped up card right here uh, from the deck. The loser of the trick takes the next card from the deck. The loser of the trick does not show the drawn card to his or her opponent. The cards played to form the trick are discarded. The top card of the remaining deck is flipped up. The player that won the last trick will lead the next trick. Players will try to win or lose tricks based on the card showing. And so if the card showing is a desirable card, you'd obviously want to play a high value card to win the trick. If the card showing is a non-desirable card, then you'd want to play a low card to get your opponent to win the trick, giving that bad card to your opponent. So in this first stage, you simply play a card to try to, and then whoever wins the trick and then takes the top card, the player who loses the trick takes the next card. So you play a card and then you replace it with a card from the stock deck. Do note that it's beneficial to try to win the best card and try to give your opponent the worst cards. And so the first stage continues until the deck is gone. So it will be 13 rounds based on the cards showing. And so this is a four of diamonds. I don't really want it. And so I will play a three of hearts for my opponent will win. Notice how I got a jack of clubs, a much better card. Uh, this is a king of diamonds. I My opponents won that trick pretty much. And so what I'll do is I'll play my lowest value card. Oh, that's a queen of spades. Um, my opponent played a king of hearts, and so I can't beat that, and so I'll just play my two of hearts. So I received the king of clubs. That's an ace of spades. Uh, my opponent played a king of diamonds. I don't have that, and so I'll play three. Do note that in this first phase, you're simply playing a card and trying to better your hand with cards from the stock deck. Uh, this is a seven of clubs, um, and so we'll we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, a five. Uh, I don't really want that, and so what I'll do is I'll play three of clubs, give that to my opponent, and I got the jack of spades, a much better card. That's a five of clubs. Um, I'm gonna win this regardless, and so I'll play my seven of clubs there. This is an ace of hearts, and so I want to win that. I want to win that bad. So what I'll do is I'll play my queen of diamonds. Taking that ace of hearts, allowing me to win that. This is a four. I don't really want it, and so 
I'll play my uh, seven of hearts here. Luckily for me, he gets the four, and I got a four as well. So that's the queen of hearts. He played a diamond. I have to follow lead suit whenever possible. I lost the trick. And so let's just sum up what's happening. In this first phase, both players are playing a card. Um, you must lead. Uh, you must follow the lead suit whenever possible. If not, you can play a card from any suit. Uh, the winner of the trick in this first phase, in any phase, really, is the player with the highest ranking card in the trump suit. If no trump suit was played, the winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. Do note that um, in this phase, you are simply uh, getting rid of cards and replacing them with cards from the stock deck. And so it's beneficial to look at the flipped up card, uh, because if you win the trick, you get the flipped up card. It's beneficial to look at the flipped up card and see if it's a card you would like. Likewise, if the card, uh, if you wouldn't like it, then uh, you wouldn't want to win the trick. Uh, the loser gets this card right below this card. The, draw, the advantage of uh, being the loser is that uh, your opponent doesn't know what card you have. Right with this flipped up card, you know whoever wins the trick, the other opponent knows um, exactly what cards they have. But um, it, the other card is drawn face down, and so your opponent does not know what card you have. In this case, um, we'll have to win this six here, the six of hearts, unfortunately. And so this is our final round, right? This first phase was just bettering our hand. Uh, this is a queen of clubs. I do like that, and so I'll play my ten of hearts. And he played the queen of hearts, taking the queen of clubs. Um, and now, 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 um, the first stage continues until the deck is gone, and so that would be your 13 rounds. Second stage, the player that won the last trick from the first stage, in this case my opponent, leads the first trick of the second stage, and so notice how he led the first trick of the second stage. The winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking trump card. Uh, trump is still the suit of the first flipped up card from the first uh, stage. Note that trump is still your, your spades here. Um, if no trump was played, the winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. The winner of the trick leads the next trick. Players try to win as many tricks as possible and keep track of tricks won. And so... Um, let's just uh, talk about this here. And so... Um, we're going to try to win this trick by playing a king of king of clubs. Now, what will we do for our next trick? We'll play a four of clubs. My opponent played a diamond. I'll play a diamond, winning that. Now I'll play my six of hearts. You play the two of spades, winning. You play the six. I'll play the three of spades, winning that, using the trump card. I will play my eight of clubs. He played his four of spades. Um, I'll have to play a higher value spade here. I'll play my. Remember, you have to try to follow lead suit whenever possible. I don't know. No, 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 no. Ah. So let's just talk about that score there. And so the amount of tricks won by a player over six tricks will count as a point. For example, our, eight, our opponent here won eight tricks. Then, eight minus six is two. They were awarded two points. Uh, the first player to a predetermined amount, uh, I guess, such as, like, I guess, 15 points, uh, wins the game. And so let's just play another round here quickly. So you can sort of understand how to play. And then we will sum up how to play at the end. Do you note that this is uh, quite a simple game. Ten of diamonds. Diamonds are the trump suit. And so that is a card I'd like. Unfortunately, my opponent is going to win because he has played quite a high card. And so I obtained an even higher value trump card with the ace of diamonds. My opponent played the ace of uh, clubs because he wanted that queen. And so I'll just simply get rid of my three here. I obtained the nine of hearts. That's the two of diamonds. Once again, my opponent played a very high value card. That's the five of hearts. I cannot do anything. I do have to follow my opponent's lead suit whenever I can. 
That's the Ten of Spades. I don't really want that. Uh, actually, I do want that. What I'll do is I'll play a Six of Hearts here. Oh, my opponent got it. Oh, uh, no. So this is a Four of Clubs. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll... Oh, I guess I'll play this four, getting that four. The ten of hearts, I'd want that, and so what I'll do is I'll play my seven of hearts here. There we go. Jack of clubs, jack of clubs, quite beneficial, quite beneficial, and so we'll play our nine of, our nine of heart hearts there. Ah, uh, so ace of spades, I cannot get that, so. I mean, I'm quite bad at this. Do notice. Um, that's the Jack of Spades. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice a lower value card for a higher value card there. Um, and so, do note that um, that's the Queen of Clubs. And so, I guess we'll sacrifice the Queen of Spades for the Queen of Clubs. We might as well. Um, that's the four of hearts. I don't want that, so I'll play the three of hearts. Ah, uh, my opponent got that, and we obtained the jack of hearts. That's the three of spades. My opponent played the, ah, uh, two of clubs. We got the worst card there. So now we are in the trick-taking phase. Uh, the player who wins the last trick leads the first trick. We'll play with the king of spades. Let's lead with the eight of eight, spade, spade of eights. Oh, okay. So my opponent is quite smart here. He's quite smart. Um, this is actually uh, what I'm using. I'm playing uh, with a very smart uh, AI. And so, yeah. And so he's led with his queen of diamonds. I'll play my king of diamonds, taking that trick there. What I'll do now is I'll lead with a queen of hearts. He led with his four of diamonds. And so I'll lead with the ace of diamonds there. We lead with the Queen of Clubs. He does not have. He does not have many. Yeah, and so I'm going to lose again. We do because do note that there are only thirteen tricks, and so one player must be guaranteed uh, to lose points. So now he's going to get three more points. So that wraps up how to play Ger German Whist. Um, it's for two players. So let's just sum it up. Uh, you'll need a 52 card deck, um, as well as a two players and something to keep score. Um, and so each player is dealt 13 cards, one card at a time, right? Do you know, notice how it's one card at a time? Each player is dealt 13 cards. Uh, the top card of the remaining deck is flipped up. Do you note know that. Uh, the suit of the top card flipped up is the trump suit for the round. So, and so in the first stage, you want to better this 13 card hand that you were dealt. And the second stage, you want to win as many tricks as possible. A trick is created by each player playing a card into the middle. Uh, the winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking card. And so cards are ranked from highest to lowest. Um, it's just ace down through two. It's just regular card ranks. Uh, the trump suited cards outrank all other suited cards. Uh, the trump suit for each round is the suit of the first card flipped up from the deck after the deal. So that would be the first card flipped up is the five of hearts. So the trump suit would be hearts. This trump suit stays throughout both the first and second stages of gameplay. In the first stage, the non-dealer plays a card to lead the first trick. Uh, the opposing player is required to play a card in the same suit of the lead card whenever possible. So if I play a diamond... My opponent is required to play a diamond. My opponent plays a spade. I am forced to play a spade if I have one. Whenever possible, you must play a card in the lead suit. Now, if no trump card is played, the, the winner is a player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. Um, if, um, if a trump card is played, then the player with the highest ranking trump card wins. Uh, the winner of the trick takes the flipped up card from the deck. Uh, the loser of the trick takes the next card from the deck. So notice how I got the next card from the deck. Once again, notice how he plays, he gets the top card of two, and I get the next card from the deck below it. Uh, the loser of the trick does not show the drawn card to his or her opponent. The cards played to form the trick are discarded. The top card of the remaining deck is then flipped up again. The player that won the last trick leads the next trick. Players try to win or lose tricks based on the card showing. 
The first stage continues until the deck is gone. The player that won the last trick from the first stage leads the first trick of the second stage. Uh, the winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking trump card. Trump is still the suit of the first flipped up card. Um, if no trump is played, the winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. Just like before, just like with any trick taking card game. The winner of the trick leads the next trick. Players try to win as many tricks as possible and keep track of tricks won in the second stage played. The amount of tricks won by a player over 6 tricks counts as a point. For example, if a player wins 7 tricks, that counts as 1 point, and they are awarded 1 point. Reason being, 7 minus 6 is 1, and they are 1 trick over seven, 6 tricks. Essentially, uh, the player who wins the majority of tricks gets points based on uh, how big they win, right? Because there are 13 there are 13 tricks to win, and so the player who wins over 6, or the majority of tricks, uh, gets points based on that. Uh, the first player to a predetermined amount, um, for example, uh, this could be anything, right? If you want a quicker game, you choose a lower amount. If you want a more drawn-out game, or a longer game, you choose a larger amount. Uh, and so let's say I wanted to play a really quick game of uh, German Whist, I'd choose 5 points. If I want to play a longer game of German Whist, I choose 20 points. Um, and that just wraps up how to play German Whist. It's, it's a very simple game. I think just by watching me play, you understand. Um, and uh, I hope you learned a new fun card game. And uh, thank you for watching.